Hello, all of my dear students. Hope all of you are well. Today, our topic is thermal expansion of matter. This is the another most important topics on effects of heat on matter chapter. Okay, so our today our topic is thermal expansion of matter. Our topic is thermal expansion of matter. Okay. If we if we heat it any object, then it will uh, expand. We know that if we heat it any object, then and the object is expand. We uh, according to our expansion, we can divide it into three part. Three part according to our expansion or according to a theory we can divide it into three parts part one is the number one is linear expansion linear linear expansion number two is area expansion PA expansion and number three is volume expansion volume expansion so our first topic is linear expansion our first topic is linear expansion Number one, linear. Expansion. If we heat it a still made rod if we heat it a still made rod length will be increased if we heat it a still made rod then the length of the rod will be increased it is called linear expansion it is called linear expansion suppose suppose this is our still made rod of initial length initial length at temperature T1 is L1 if the initial length at temperature T1 is L1 and after after heating if the length of the still made rod is L2 after increasing the temperature up to T2 then we get a little expansion we get a little expansion like L2 minus L1 clear if we heated a still made rod at a temperature uh, at temperature T2 then the length is increasing uh, up to L2 so this part is the expansion of this rod and the uh, expansion part is L2 minus L1 so here we have a coefficient so for linear expansion the ex coefficient is called linear coefficient linear linear coefficient of heat and we denote it as alpha linear coefficient of heat and we denote it, it as alpha alpha is a linear coefficient alpha is a linear coefficient so we can write 
So we can write our formula for linear expansion as alpha equal to L2 minus L1 divided by L1 divided by T2 minus T1. Then we can write alpha equal to L2 minus L1 divided by L1 T2 minus T1. So by cross multi multiplication we get L2 minus L1 equal to alpha L1 T2 minus T1. So uh, for length L2 we can write L2 equal to L1 plus alpha L1 T2 minus T1. This is our formula for linear expansion. Okay, this is our final formula for linear expansion and, and alpha is denoted as a linear coefficient. Alpha is denoted as a linear coefficient. Okay, this is our linear expansion. Our next topic is area expansion. Our next topic is area expansion. Number two, area expansion. area expansion if we heated a steel mat sheet if we heated a steel mat sheet then area will be increased this is called area expansion i'm repeating if we heated a steel mat sheet then area will be increased this phenomenon is called area expansion example such as example if the initial area of a steel bed sheet is a1 at temperature temperature t1 and after heating After heating, the area is increased as A2 and at temperature T2. At temperature T2, then then we get we get this is our initial area. So our area is increased. So our area is increased as A2 minus A1 this this is our expansion term a2 minus a1 so here we have also uh, we have another coefficient this uh, the name of this coefficient is called the name of this coefficient is called area coefficient and we denote area coefficient as beta we denote area coefficient as beta so for our area expansion for our area expansion we can write beta equal to a2 minus a1 divided by a1 t2 minus t1 we can write beta equal to a2 minus a1 divided by a1 into t2 minus t1 by cross multiplicating we get a2 minus a1 equal to beta into a1 t2 minus t1 so we can write for area uh, expansion of part of area as a2 equal to a1 plus beta a1 t2 minus t1 this is our formula for area expansion this is our formula for area expansion okay okay our next topics is our next topics is 
uh, volume expansion. Volume expansion. If we hit a still made cube, if we hit a still made cube, then volume will be increased. Then volume will be increased. This is called volume expansion. If we hit a still made cube, then volume is increased. So this phenomenon is called volume expansion. Here, here, uh, this is the initial volume of a cube at temperature T T1 after uh, heating volume is increased as V2 at temperature T2 then here the volume expansion uh, ex the volume expansion part is uh, can be written as part can be written as V2 minus V1 so uh, here we will get another uh, coefficient of heat and uh, for volume expansion this coefficient of heat is denoted as gamma so volume coefficient volume coefficient efficient is denoted denoted as gamma gamma is called volume coefficient so for volume coefficient we get gamma equal to v2 minus v1 divided by v1 t2 minus t1 so we can write gamma equal to v2 minus v1 v1 t2 minus t1 so cross multiplicating we get v2 minus v1 equal to gamma v1 t2 minus T1. So for volume expansion term, for volume expansion term we get V2 equal to V1 plus gamma V1 T2 minus T1. This is the formula for volume expansion. This is the formula for volume expansion. So. Uh, Here we have a unit for coefficient and dimension for coefficient. For all coefficients such as linear coefficient, area coefficient and volume uh, coefficient. For uh, unit, unit and dimension, dimension of coefficient. This is very important part for MCQ. Here, the unit, unit at of uh, coefficients of these three, three coefficient. Is 
पर केल्विन और पर डिग्री सेल्सियस पर डिग्री और पर केल्विन सेल्सियस पर केल्विन और पर डिग्री सेल्सियस एंड द डायमेंशन डायमेंशन of these three coefficients is alpha equal to beta equal to gamma equal to t inverse 1. This is our dimension. This is unit of coefficient. The unit of coefficient is per Kelvin or per degree Celsius. And dimension of these three coefficient is T inverse 1. And obviously, <coughs> third bracket. Okay. <coughs> so, now we will, we will uh, solve a sample uh, math. Uh, by using this formula. So our mathematical problem is as problem. The the length length of a steel rod is 10 meter and at 20 degree celsius temperature if the length if the length becomes becomes 10.0 one six seven meters at at one two zero degrees Celsius then determine 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 the coefficient coefficient of linear expansion expansion of rod this is our sample problem uh, uh, the length of a steel rod is uh, 10 meter at 20 degrees celsius 20 degrees celsius so this is our initial length <coughs> L1 at temperature T1. So this temperature is noted as T1. If the length becomes 10.0167 meter uh, at 120 degrees Celsius, so this length is as uh, our L2 and this is our final temperature uh, T2. Then we need to determine the coefficient of linear expansion of rod. The uh, coefficient of linear expansion is denoted as alpha. So we need to determine the uh, term alpha. So solution of this math here we have given that L1 equal to 10 meter, our initial length at temperature T1 is 20 degrees Celsius. Here we will use the difference of temperature, so we don't need to convert it in, uh, into Kelvin. Because we know that the, for the difference uh, of temperature, the Kelvin scale and the Celsius scale, uh, um, uh, Celsius scale is same okay so we don't need to convert it into kelvin okay okay our 
final length L2 is 10.0167 meter and final temperature T2 is 120 degree Celsius. Okay, so for our linear coefficient of expansion, linear expansion, coefficient of linear expansion, um, we know that we know alpha equal to alpha equal to uh, l2 l2 minus l1 divided by l1 t2 minus t1 putting the value of uh, this uh, l1 l2 and t1 t2 we get l1 and uh, l2 as 10.0167 minus 10 10 <coughs> into 1 to 0 minus 20 so calculating we get 16.7 into 10 to the power minus 6 degree per degree celsius so alpha therefore the coefficient of the coefficient efficient of linear expansion linear expansion of rod is 16.7 into 10 to the power minus 6 degree per degree Celsius so we We are observing that our coefficient, the, uh, the term coefficient, the value of the term coefficient is very, very small. Okay. So, uh, this is all for today. Uh, so, thank you, boys. Thank you.